Hello Zebraherd, welcome to Sonic Origins, a brand new collection of iconic Sonic the Hedgehog games. We have the first three Sonic Adventures as well as Sonic CD in better forms than ever. Improved graphics with enhanced resolution, new features added. It is the best way, as far as I can tell, to experience these classic Sonic games. And even if it isn't, you get to play the original versions too. So I'm going to have so much fun playing through this with you guys. We're gonna be trying our best to play through all the games and collect all the chaos emeralds throughout the adventure because there is stuff like story mode where we can play each game sequentially there's animated cutscenes there's a lot of cool things added to this collection and since I haven't had too much experience with some of these older Sonic games it'll be really fun to experience them for the first time with you guys so with that being said let's get started with Sonic Origins So here we are on the main menu screen. As you can see, we're unlocking a couple of different modes because I pre-ordered, I think, the, the highest tiered edition of this game. So we have things like mirror mode, different characters, some of the museum mode stuff. We'll be checking all of that out later, but for right now, as you can see, there are, I think, yeah, four different games in this. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Sonic CD. Now, there's a certain order to play them. I'm pretty sure it's Sonic 1, CD, 2, and 3, but, for right now, all we have to worry about is Sonic 1. Now, typically you can play these through an anniversary mode where we have enhanced features in 16 by 9 resolution or classic mode or boss rush. But what I mostly want to focus on in today's video and moving forward is the story mode where you can play the games as one continuous experience. But on top of that, there are some extra cutscenes between the games that I don't think you normally see in anniversary mode. So I definitely want to make sure that we see those by playing through the story mode first. So yeah, this is going to be my first experience with some of the, these games. I've played Sonic 1, but I don't think I've ever beaten it. So it's going to be very interesting to hop into this. So with that being said, let's get started with the story mode and the original Sonic the Hedgehog. So here it is, a bright sunny day in Green Hill Zone. And here he goes, it's Sonic! Uh-oh. Oh no! You okay, little guy? Oh, it's Dr. Eggman, of course. Who else would it be, really? So he's up to no good. He's stealing all the little critters. All right, Sonic, you know what to do. Go save the day. So there we have it. It's so cool to have these games that are, what, 30, 35 years old now almost, right? Something like that. And just have cutscenes that explain their story more. So here we are in the very first zone of Sonic the Hedgehog, Green Hill Zone. Now I do want to warn people if I'm not so good at the game, I'm sorry. It's just never been a series I'm super good at, but I'll definitely try my best. Oh, and this game added the spin dash, that feature where you just can do this. That was not in the original Sonic the Hedgehog, but it was added through this collection. So that's a really nice feature to have. Yeah, these games are sort of graphically enhanced with a wider resolution and stuff, but it's still the original graphics. So I think it looks really good. But yeah, the whole goal of Sonic is to get to the end of the stage as fast as you can. Oh boy. So far, we're not doing too bad of a job. I try to go fast, but if you go too fast, you probably will run into something that'll hurt you. So it's good to be a little bit careful. Yeah, our goal with this is just to get to the end, cut all the Chaos Emeralds and save the little guys. Oh, let's go down this way, actually. Here we go, we got a nice shield. So I should be able to rev up a little bit and keep going. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, and we can build up some speed through this tube. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, can I bounce off of them? Whoa, I got all the rings. This is great so far. I'm liking it. Yeah, like I said before, I'm not the best at these games, so if I make some mistakes, if you're looking for a Sonic the Hedgehog expert, you're not gonna find that here. But it looks like, oh no, I lost the shield. We're doing pretty good, we got an extra life. Oh yeah, that's right, there are no lives for this. They removed that feature. Oh, and go through there. So that one ring is really important because that's gonna be our bonus zone thing. But there we go, Sonic has passed, act one of Green Hill Zone. Yeah, <laughs> good job, Sonic. So here we are, oh man, how does this work again? Oh, I see, so this one's really disorienting but there's like little the RC circle stands for rotate, and that'll change the rotation. And basically our goal with this is to try to find the emerald and not hit the goal. Which, yeah, that's sort of the misleading thing with this. Oh no, whoa, whoa, whoa. There are little spots that say goal, but they're not our goal. Instead, we're trying to get to that emerald in the center of the screen. 
but it, it's really difficult to do that. <laughs> Not a big fan of this one, but each Sonic game that has their own sort of collection of side games like this. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Maybe. Uh. There we go. We got it. And then in there. Yeah, we did it! All right, our first try. So, Chaos Emerald collected. So there should be a good few of those to get in the game. We just need to make sure we jump through the rings at the end of each level, which hopefully won't be too difficult. That is something I want to check before we go too far. But we do get some extra coins. And as far as I understand, coins are a new currency for this game that add the ability to replay through those bonus zones if you mess up. Green Hill Zone Act 2 is here, but I can restart. I don't know if that restarts the level or restarts the entire game. I'm gonna guess it restarts the level. Because remember, we are playing in story mode. Oh, bounce up there. I'll get that little crab guy. But these games, is, they were so cool back in the day and they are still now. Of course, oh gosh. Whoa, what do we got? Oh, another shield. Okay, I'll take it. But yeah, of course, I haven't played these games for you guys, but I have played Sonic Mania and Sonic Colors Ultimate. We just finished up. I've been trying to complete that 100% before this game came out. And there's a brand new Sonic game coming out later this year. So there's a lot of cool Sonic stuff happening right now. Oh man, there we go. We're getting through it. Okay, let's drive up here. And I think that we're invincible at the moment is the whole idea with this. Got it. I'm getting so many rings. Which I feel like there's more of an incentive than ever just to go out of my way to collect the rings because the more of these coins, the better. I think I get another coin for every 100 rings. Oh, here we go. Whenever we, whoa, 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 wait, 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 no. Oh no, I missed it. Do I have to get every single one of them? I'm not sure. Uh. Uh-oh. I was going too fast for it. Huh. So here we are in Green's Hill Zone Act 3. I might check really quickly. Because <laughs> if not, that's going to be really bad. Okay, so it's a good thing I double checked. Because I just, I couldn't quite remember. But basically how the bonus stages work is that when you get to the end of the stage with at least 50 rings. We need to make sure we get 50 rings here. We need to jump through the big ring, of course. Um, that's how we get the Chaos Emerald, but there's only six of them to get in the game. So you don't need to get every single bonus stage. You just need to get six of them to be able to get the full, true ending of the game. So that's what I'll be focusing on. Oh, I think I picked the speed up shoes there. So now I can run extra, extra fast as if Sonic couldn't get any faster. So we have 50 rings here. So our goal is to not lose them and get to the end of the stage and get through that ring. Oh, 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 that's tricky. So I'm really happy I had, oh no, uh, the thing there. I I'm really happy I had, oh no. Oh, can I go through this? Yeah, I can. I knew I remembered that. Whoa, hold on. Keep going, Sonic. But don't go too fast because I don't want to run past the thing. Oh, here we go. What was that then? Was that just extra rings or something? I'm not really quite sure. Oh, but we're going to face off with Eggman. So maybe I can't even get the bonus here. Yeah, because it's the boss fight. All right, well, here's Eggman. He's got a big disco ball for some reason. And I think I just jump into him? Yeah, looks like it. I'll try my best, ow, to not let that happen. Oh no. Okay, I think our dreams here are, are squandered of getting the Chaos Emerald. Oh man, that is not good. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna have 50 rings. Instead, I'll have more like one ring. Oh gosh, but as long as I can keep that one ring, I, I wasn't able to. Darn, that's tough. Okay, I think I need to sort of time that better. But I guess it gives us a second chance to get through and maybe get enough rings. Oh, but probably not. Yeah, we're just right here. So I, yeah, I don't get any rings. Yikes, okay. So how do we want to do this then? Okay, maybe when it's on that side, I could do that. It's not the fastest method. But as long as it works, I don't know how many times I have to hit him. I don't think it's like Mario, where, uh-oh, where three times you're out kind of deal. Ah, oh, that is so tricky. <laughs> okay, try it again. Green Hill Zone, maybe I could go back and get some rings. Oh, I could, maybe. Yeah, awesome. I don't think it's worth it for me to get 50 rings this way, because I'm, I'm probably just gonna get hit again. And that, yeah, that, that's what I mean, <laughs> exactly. So I'll go ahead and get these. And I guess if we don't get the true final ending this first run through, it's not the end of the world, but I would like to, so I can show it to you guys. 
but eventually in this series, I'd like to get all the games fully completed. Okay, this time we'll get him, right? Takes a couple of tries, especially since getting used to the game and how Sonic controls and stuff is its own thing. Come on, oh no. This first one's tricky too, because the way he moves left to right, you think would be easier to figure out than it is. Got it? Oh no. Darn, especially since I'm trying to jump and jump. Harder to do that than it might seem. See, like I'm just, I try to jump there, and Sonic doesn't. There you go. I love how his Eggman's mustache flares up when he hit him. He's like, oh no. Got it? Okay, just a little bit more, I'm sure. A little repetitive, but if it works, it works. Come on. I wish I could hit him just from there. There we go, we got him! See ya, Eggman! So he's not gonna like that too much, he'll just fly away. But there we go, we get to save a bundle of the animals that were in these little capsules. Hooray! <laughs> All right, so at least we saved them. So Sonic has passed Act 3 of Green Hill Zone. That's gonna finish up the first area of the game. And I think that's also gonna finish up our first episode. So there was Green Hill Zone in the original Sonic the Hedgehog, a very iconic stage that you will see come back up throughout a lot of Sonic's history. So it's a good thing to experience the first iteration of it, right? So we have plenty more acts to get through, plenty more zones to get through in this game, as well as the other games coming up soon. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Sonic Origins. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.